about to talk about that guy. Robots. When I say robots, you imagine something like that. Even I find it creepy. Seriously. I'm talking about the physical robots. The ones that are made to perform a particular task. And then we have AI, those guys. You see, that is a robot, and the thing behind it is an AI. Two different things. AIs are softwares. AIs like, are like your Alexas, your Siri. They are AIs. And then somehow robots and AI came together and fell in love, then gave birth to intelligent robots. You know those guys? Them. That is the future. That's where the world is at. Intelligent robots are those. They can think for themselves. They can eat for themselves. They can dress themselves. Just like you. What if I tell you that there's a drone that can find its way back home when the battery is low? Just like the way you find your way back home when you're hungry. Or I tell you that there's a car. We all know there's a car that can drive itself. Have you ever tried one? I guess not. <laughs> or I tell you that there's a robot that can actually diagnose you and then operate on you, then send you back home. Will you go to that hospital? Just imagine taking your grandfather to the hospital and then telling him that, Baba, Seriously? Will he take that? This is Sophia. I'm sure most of you have met her. She's the first AI robot to be a citizen in UAE. An Arab country. Muslim-centered country. Where are we? Nigeria, where are we with robotics? Where are we with AI? You talk, people will say, seriously, what are you trying to do with this robot? Are you trying to copy God's creation? No, that's not what we are doing. Come on, this is Sophia, she's a citizen. And then, in sci-fi movies, what you see is something like, there's a robot, then there's war behind him, then he's ending the world. So things like that scared us away. I think that is why the only automated machine we trust in Nigeria is the ATM machine. And believe me, people still count their money after we draw in. Right? Why are we behind? What are we doing wrong? Are we scared of change or is change scared of us? Can't we make something like this here in our country? Robotics is the future, but we are the past. Because our forefathers lived in the first industrial revolution. We're still, we're now at the fourth industrial revolution, or the world is at the fourth industrial revolution. Well, we're still in the first. And we have equipment, we have brains, we have talented people. Come on, you've seen many in this stage. Yes, even I believe that robots will destroy the world. You know why? Because I believe that we'll reach to a stage where we are going to create robots that are smarter than us. What happens then? We don't need to create them. They can create siblings for themselves. They can think for themselves. Then we don't have control over them. Do you know that in the year 2045, that robots will have the same civil rights as us? That means robots are not your creation. They're not like your neighbors, like the person sitting next to you. But that's not in Nigeria, I'm sure. 
We rattle about how scared we are of robots, but this is what we're dealing with, right? Isn't this the end of civilization? Isn't this destroying the world? Isn't it destroying us? All these diseases, the collapsed economy, the minimum wage, that. Wouldn't he fix it? Don't you think he can fix that? He can. So, I'm not saying we're not part of technology at all. No, we are. We are very active on Twitter. We choose this particular technology we want to take part of. We rather Instagram like tweet. We rather cyber bully people than cyber bill. Why? I have a mission for myself, had, but still have. I wanted to make impact. I want to see people coding just like the way they're texting. So this year, I decided that I'm going to build a school for kids because I cannot bring grown-ups like you and tell them to start coding. No, come on. We all have problems. We all have girlfriends to deal with. So I wanted to fish out these children that don't really know what they want to do with their lives. Show them something that is greater than Twitter or savage posts. Give them something to do. I don't want them to rely on working for the government because believe me, we have shared too many CVs and it's not working because our hands are not long enough. So I started with few children in an orphanage in Hotoro. There were just five of them. I started showing them how they can use Arduino. It's a very small microcontroller, how to code. You will be fascinated how interesting and interested they are in what I was doing. And that, that is what they want to do. They want to like build stuff, make something move, make something work. Then I got a little bit disappointed, but that's another story. Do you know that five years from now, that's 2025, there will be 175 zettabytes in the world? Do you know how much zettabytes are? One zettabyte is one trillion gigabytes. Imagine having that much data. Do you know how it is being created? Do you know where it is going? You don't, but you are the one creating that data. So I want you today, I want you to go home. Think of anything you can automate. Automation does not have to be physical. It can be a software. You're not a software engineer. You can have the idea. Think of anything. It can be your cup. It can say hello to you in the morning and come into your head. Something that cool. It can clean your house. Just put down the idea. Keep seeing mistakes in the world and put down the ideas of how to solve them. And see what you have at the end of the year. I'll give you my number. Call me. We'll bring it to life. So the bottom line is, Nigeria, we still have a future in robotics. And that future is somewhere standing right here. And I will not stop until every one of you has agreed to stop counting their money at the ATM machine. I will not stop until we, I and you, automate the world because we have to fix this. Thank you.